Since officially opening earlier this month, the Laurel Diaper Bank has already become a valuable source of support for families in low income communities. Our Jay Harrison spoke with mothers about how it's helped them with expenses many may not be aware of. Whether it's Huggies, Pampers or Loves, the Laurel Diaper Bank is ensuring that babies within the community are staying snug and dry. They help out a whole lot, very much a lot, because if it wasn't for them, whew, it's, it'll have been harder. The bank opened earlier this month. Laurel resident Yamia Smith coming in today. Her one-month-old daughter, Cameron Grace, in tow. I have an 18-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a one-month-old now. So, but she's my little fire. Studies show that one in three mothers struggle to afford an adequate supply of Pampers each month, which can cost around $70 a month or $840 a year, which is why programs like the Diaper Bank are so important in communities. I try to buy about a book, but with her being a newborn, the newborns go through a lot of diapers. So the books is really the best way to go if you can catch them on sale. <laughs> If not, you're spending a lot more than you ask to see. Organizers say they've been busy bringing parents in, most of whom are reaching out once they're at their wits end. I personally have received two applications. I think she received about six. The other Triangle Homes had two or three applications. The mothers are excited about it, and we're just overwhelmed with the, with the opportunity to be able to help them financially by providing them with diapers. Mother of four, Lanisha Ross, says she often turns to family for help with diaper costs, but the diaper bank has now become her go-to. She says she's grateful for the help and wants to return the love. If we move out a size, a size diaper, I'll just bring it to Miss Tanya and give it to her, donate it mm -hmm. to the bank for another parent. Watson says it's the spirit of giving, as well as independence, that she hopes parents leave the bank with. We try to help our residents in all facets of life to try to help them get to a point where they can be self-sustained themselves financially, mentally, physically, or whatever else. In Laurel, I'm Jay Harrison, WDAM7, on your side. And to learn more about the Diaper Bank, you can contact the Laurel Housing Authority and ask about the ROSS program.